Dozens of people now the victim of a strange crime plaguing Virginia Beach. In the past six days, someone stole nearly 30, 30 spare tires off the backs of vehicles in the city, but one victim made a move that could possibly crack the case. Ten on your side's Katie Collette joins us now with the answer. Katie? Tom and Nicole, the woman we spoke with, says she can recognize the suspect's vehicle. As a matter of fact, she says she saw it on the street, followed it, and recorded the whole thing. We were sleeping. It was about 2 o'clock, 2.20 in the morning. Monday night, Megan's dog woke her and her husband. <laughs> Something strange happening outside their Willow Lake apartment. He could see like somebody with like a beanie hat, mm -hmm. um, kind of just a little bit taller than my car. So he knew that there was somebody standing behind my car and we could just hear rustling. Megan says she saw a woman in the driver's seat of a nearby vehicle. Her husband hit the panic button. I was watching and calling 911 and I was able to see them take off and I got a good look at the back of their car and the sticker and everything and we had a make and model. Megan ran outside and noticed someone tried to steal the spare tire off of her SUV. Three other cars in her lot suffered similar damage. They actually did get the tire mm -hmm. from a car around the corner. They had stopped there first. Virginia Beach police say there are many more victims, 28 in all throughout the city since November 30th. Investigators say many cases appear to be related. But Megan says she might be able to help because of a decision she made Tuesday night. I said, I bet you our robber friends are getting ready for another night, and I bet you everyone just drives down the same roads in this area. Let's go find them. And Megan says she and her husband did find them. They took this video. It's a bit shaky, but she says it shows the suspect's white-colored Buick Rendezvous. That's it. Don't do anything crazy. She handed the video and pictures over to police, hoping it helps slam the door on this case. I'm frustrated and I'm mad. I'm just... It's stupid, and now I'm to the point where if I could find them, the police can definitely find them. Now, you can prevent your vehicle from being targeted by taking some simple safety precautions. We'll talk about that new at 6. Katie Collette, 10 on your side. And Megan says there was an AK Love and a VCC sticker side by side on the back of the suspect's car. She also says there's a grayish trim around the bottom of the vehicle, so keep a lookout for it.